Well, you can enjoy Tyler Goodjohn and Mark Navarro right now. So it's over to MC Lee Druitt. Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to your next contest of the evening. Scheduled for five by two minute rounds in the lightweight division. Introducing first with a professional BKB record of one win and no losses. Fighting out of Cambridge, England and repping the Fen Army. Tyler El Tornado Goodjohn. Our seventh bout, a lightweight contest, five two minute rounds. First to the ring is Tyler Goodjohn, who weighed in at 11 5, 27 years of age, five foot nine, one win in his one BKB fight. He's from Cambridge, known as the El Tornado. He's an ex pro gloved English champion. He fought chief support honor. Anthony Joshua Bill and we watched him Robin beat uh, Tony Lafferty um, a BKB 14 I mean that was a war it was a war and it was a, a tremendously exciting fight this is a handsome kid with good hands and he's gonna be a star in BKB I mean people already know his name Navarro wanted to fight him because of this because he's popular he's it's gonna be a hell of a fight well back to Lee drew it to bring the uh, next fight in and his opponent, also with a professional BKB record of one win and zero losses, fighting out of Dundee, Scotland. It's Mark, the Farrican Rican Navarro. Mark Navarro, one or two boos in the crowd there, not very popular. 32 year old, five foot nine, one win from Dundee. He's known as the freaking Rican. He's Puerto Rican background. He was a pro kickboxer, and we saw him beat Johnny Lawson in BKB 14. And both these guys, we know we're in for a war. I mean, I'm just looking, you mentioned Tyler Goodjohn. 13 uh, wins, five defeats in glove. That's a decent record. Really good, really good. And he beat some legitimate fighters. Tyler Goodjohn's a great fighter. Mark Navarro is a great fighter, but he's also a natural warrior. He is comfortable in the chaos. He provokes you, he pushes He enjoys you. it. He enjoys it, this is what he's meant to do. He's obsessed, so that natural feel of fighting is Look in. Look at the walk-in, look at the walk-in. Yeah. But the obsession has made him a talent as well, a skilled boxer. So this is a heck of a fight. Good John versus Lafferty was fight of the night at BKB 13. Navarro versus Lawson was fight of the, fight of the, fight night. Of the night BKB 14. Mark Navarro in the he's got a, wanted he's got this a chain. fight. He does have a chain. They've let him in on a chain. Yeah, he should be on a chain. Let Speak him off the story. leash. Let him off the leash. Navarro wants to provoke Good John. Good John. have a feeling with Mark that if he wasn't being paid to fight here to be fighting somewhere he was and he and he told me that he said he learned to fight because the world that he lived in the environment he was in he had to fight but the skills have been developed through an obsession to grow and, and evolve and become more than he is these are two fascinating individuals in a beautiful beautiful contest well Tyler good John's got a lot of natural boxing ability come on Fed Army rev it up come Ready? on Barrington Patterson calls them to the middle. Oh, Dundee Army as well. Come on. Five two minute rounds. They're eyeballing each other. And the referee's making things very clear to you. He won't stand any nonsense. If this was a contest of who boxed prettier, Good John would win this fight. Here we go. But Navarro doesn't care about boxing pretty. He just out make one. This a fist fight. Absolutely. And straight away. You have to get down, mate. He's fearless as well. A great uh, down, Tyler Good John. Great bobbing and weaving, oh, great excellent. hands. Good John moving very well. Look at them all, air balls, all of them. That path that his head is following is one that's very hard to touch. There it is. Great stance. Oh, this good John looks very skilled tonight. But Navarro, Navarro fearless. said in that fight of the night of Good John's that Good John made many mistakes and Navarro spotted them all. Well, he's not making any right now. He's moving elegantly. Well, Navarro. Tries to get that right hand just there, but great defensive hands from Beautiful. Tyler Goodjohn. It's something that that you see in the, in this contest and, and something you see in this beautiful art form is you must make the man miss. You can't just come out here and eat knuckles all night and, and look at Goodjohn. Oh, look at Goodjohn there. Good hands, quick hands, quick, fast hands. 
and just... Oh, good oh. shot from Navarro. You, sometimes you find your way, and Navarro traced the path of that head and walked it into a left hook. It's hard to keep moving like this, slipping and moving and weaving and creating paths through the, through the air. And the object is to try and land a punch as well. That's right. But each one, each one of these is a load as well. That's the beauty of the technical aspects of boxing. Good John there, trying to get in close. Up and under he comes. Navarro told there, get your head up. Right on. To slip, say, inside as he does. He slips Oh, good the shot air. there. Right hand from... Good John. Good John came into this with the exact correct strategy. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that he's going to win. It doesn't mean that he's going to win this fight, but it is the right way. Oh, he's talking to the referee, Navarro. He wants a referee to step in. End of that round. And that's a great round for Tyler Good John. It's a great round, but it's also a great blueprint of how to win this fight. The cameraman standing in front of the judge. Making your man miss, creating paths through the, through the space between them with the head that is difficult to touch. There was one big shot by Mark Navarro. Absolutely. As Jim joins Jim, us. here's Jim. Jim, what's happening? All three judges for Tyler. I thought Tyler controlled the fight. Mark hit with a nice one that just stiffened his yeah. leg. Big <laughs> left hook. Little left, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he looks supremely confident, Tyler Goodjohn. Mate, he's a very good boxer. You don't, you don't become English pro champion if you haven't got a lot about you. You know, don't forget, he's 27. He's not like he's an old pro at 35, 36. Having another go, yeah. 27 years old. He's in the prime of his life. Um, fit as hell, great skill set. You know, but Mark's a tough, tough boy. Oh, yeah, boy. Tough, is he tough just... boy, so this is going to be fantastic. Hell of a... Second round, up and coming. The danger in a fight like this for, oh, uh, for Good John is as he slows, it meets fist meets skull at the time yep. between when he slows down and Navarro learns. That's oh, how good shot there again, overhand from Good John didn't connect, but Navarro then getting close and hits him. Good Navarro's job. decided he wants a toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and he comes in for a tear-up. And it's the correct way for him as well. They're both fighting how they should fight. Because you know, if Navarro tried to do exactly what Tyler Goodjohn was, he can't do it. He can't do it, and Tyler Goodjohn should not be fighting how Navarro's fighting. They are fighting true to themselves. Oh, good shot from Navarro there. He gets out of the way well, Tyler Goodjohn. Yep. Oh, good body shot from him. And another body shot. But back comes Navarro, left and right. It, these are the things that you can't learn in the gym, what Navarro has, and that's why he's having his best moments right now. Raw courage. And guts and heart and will. Fire. That desire. And he, and he might have thought he was going to come in here with some newly acquired, developed tactics, but he's shelling up and firing. Is it his best when he's a tear-up, when it's a toe-to-toe? -to -toe? That's right. That's right. That's who he is. You just got to find that head. And Tyler Good, John, desperate, desperate to get him at distance to fight the tactical fight he wants to fight. Interesting. Brilliant fight. Brilliant round by Mark Navarro. I don't know if the reps, if the judges yeah, will I think, see it I think or not. it's his round for me. But it's a brilliant round. Good shot again. Oh, good again from Navarro. Great bobbing and weaving from Good John. Great defensive tactics. This fight, they have found a, a beautiful opponent in each other. They truly have. And a great rhythm to the fight. Each one is giving them everything they could have hoped. Oh. For good John, you can counter this ferocity with skill and slipping and movement. Dance. The original bobbing and weaving. The Navarro just wants him fixed on the rope so he can have that battle. Yeah. Navarro counters his specialties wow. with his natural gifts and attributes of fire and aggression. What a round. It's a beautiful fight, my friend. What a round that is. Amazing round. Well, see what the judges... I think Navarro's got that one, if I'm honest. The referee's uh, just well, we having a little word with the other referee as well, Barrington, I think, just to say, help me out here if you see something I don't. Here's Jim. What's happening, Jim? Um, two rounds for Tyler, one for Mark. It, it was, that was we thought rounds. Navarro had got that. Yeah. I, I'll be honest, I thought he did. You know, but we're this side. A lot of that work here yes. looked good. Yes. We don't know what happened That's the other right. side of the ring. Um, so, you know, you've got to rely on them. But, yeah, that was a, that was a great round of BKB. So, hey, what, a, what a fight. They are Fantastic. perfect opponents for each other. They are perfect foils for each other. Yes. And I knew it would be. I just And you can see Tyler's trying to get him to fight his way. Yeah. He's trying to get into a war, yeah. it's brilliant, yeah, absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah, brilliant, I love it, love it. Love it. 
Love it, love it, love it. Sounds like Kevin Keegan. <laughs> you don't know who Kevin Keegan is, do you? I do not. Thank you. I'll explain another time. Here comes the next round. If only we had five rounds for this one, my friend. We oh, look, we, we do. <laughs> <laughs> look at him toe-to-toe. -to -toe. This is not what Good John necessarily wants, although he's had some success in here as well. Yeah. But he looks to me as if he says, OK, I want to fight me fight, but if it has to be, I'm ready. That, yes. And, oh, that's what happens when you slip. You load a right hand, slip to the outside. You load the right hand counter. And there's oh, the left hook counter. Left from slip to the inside and you load the left hook counter. Great left hook from Tyler, but Navarro, and he jabs him as well, and he's got him there with the quick hands from Tyler Goodjohn. Left and right, then back comes Navarro. Navarro there, wants it clinch. You must break Navarro physically because you certainly will not break him emotionally no, or not mentally. A it will not happen. So a good John's in for a long time here. He must shut this man off because he will not discourage Mark Navarro. Great right from him there, just narrowly missing the target. But Navarro, always game, comes back again, but he's turning away. Navarro but then tries the body. There's a, there's a sweetness in the style of Tyler Goodjohn. It's just very aesthetically pleasing. Yes, it is. Not backing up. That's Oh, look at the way he just weaved. He weaved out. his way out. Yeah. But also, have you noticed, it, it changes his stance. He goes left and right, he goes southpaw, then he comes back. But this, this is that dig, that left hook dig to the liver side. And that can be painful. Body shot again from Navarro, good body shot. What a, what a oh, the gum shield out. The referee will stop matched it. fight. All credit to Jim and Joe for this one. Although, really, these guys did the job for them. Uh, Mark Navarro started calling out Good John on, on Instagram and saying this is the man he wants, and you see why. These are beautiful, beautiful foils for each other. Good body shots there. And what I like in the clinch, Tyler Good John is still prepared to work in the clinch and get scoring shots. Navarro's most dangerous weapon oh, is good the left hook. From Tyler Good John, and in a right, then another left. There's the end of the round. Oh, this is what fighting is. Wow. Wow, and wow again. The, the, the human attributes that they possess, but also the skills and the, I, I watch, the will. You watch Tyler there, man, when he. As Tyler. Sorry, Jim's here with the judges' scorecard. Um, two for Tyler, one drawn round. Um, from that side of the ring, now I looked at that round, I was different. I thought that yeah, it was Tyler. He, he nice, clean work. Tyler was brilliant there. Yeah, yeah. But he's, he's bobbing and he's weaving and he's, he's, he's getting out of trouble. Oh. Him. Yeah, the, the level's fantastic. But even when he's in a clinch, with, he's getting good body shots off. You know the best thing about this? We've still got four minutes. I know, we said the same. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jim Freeman, one of the governors of BKB, the only official bare knuckle boxing in the world, I think, at the moment. Yeah, the only official. True. If it's called BKB, this is it. Well, we've we've now got, uh, and he can't wait to get gone. Both of them look. See, here's the here's the dirty detail: is that Good John is being asked to be four. as tough and rugged as Navarro, and he's doing it as well as being skillful. Yes, exactly, and Navarro is not yet evolved to the point that he can be as supple and pretty. Oh, good shot his, left again with his game as as Good John is. Good John there with a, a great shot. Navarro trying there, that right, almost like a right jab rather than a, a hook. And back comes Tyler Goodjohn, left and right, he's got him on the ropes. Navarro's meanest weapon and the one that's landed the cleanest has been the left hook. It's been the left hook. He has that great body movement, mobility, yeah. and his feet are great as well, Tyler Goodjohn. the hips, at the feet, and comes up through the legs, through the hips, through the core, all attached. There, there's this for later in a in a... Bare knuckle contest. Oh, he called him on and he caught him. And he called him on and he said, sure, no problem. Watch the left hook here. I always worry, you know, when you're in school and you go, go on, then hit me. You never do that, because people do. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> Watch. But there's a lot of bravado going on, you know, and it's, they're playing to the crowd as well. They're, they're br very proud guys and two warriors. Yes, giving us everything they have. Oh. For good, John. For Good John, a key, a, a massive importance for this fight. Oh, and there's Tyler Good John getting the crowd behind him as well. It's He's got Jimmy Sweeney in his corner. It does. 
It's important for him to be able to move like this late in the fight. He had to come in shape to do oh, it. What a body shot that is. And he from has. Goodjohn. What a body shot. And a body shot there from Navarro. But back comes Goodjohn. And back comes Navarro. What a fight. Tear up toe to toe. This is a war of attrition. Oh, an upper hard uppercut. Hard uppercut from Tyler Goodjohn. Hard uppercut. That's, and again, little, yeah. lovely little jab with the left. What a talent. And oh, oh shot oh, the right. And rip. Just notice there, Sean George, the outlaw is here, of course, watching. And he might fancy one of these, you know. He might fancy one of these, Sean George. End of another round, and boy. This is breathtaking stuff, BKB. Wow, unbelievable. Absolutely amazing. Twice the gum shields come out as well, but this is a, a breathtaking fight, Jim. Fantastic fight. I thought that was um, Tyler's clearest round for yes, me, and all, all the judges agreed with me on that one. Yep. I thought the extra skill come through as Navarro's tiring. You know, with Navarro's pressure, 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 when you tire, that, that's but not this, a thing. Uh, this Navarro won't back away, he no, won't no, give he, up. Hey, no, look, we have two Scottish fighters in BKB. And both, both the same. Are absolute nails, aren't they? <laughs> absolute they are. nails. Yep. They don't We're, make them like they do. That might be a fight, Navarro and no, Lafferty. That's, that, that's a fight that I definitely want to put on at Oh, some point. my has days. To has to oh, be. My days. Has to be. I'll tell you what, don't worry, we'll buy a ticket. OK, yeah, yes, you do that. Yes. Hey, I'm going to hold you to that. You're only <laughs> so tight getting to the bar. I'm gonna... <laughs> Jim Freeman, thank you very much indeed. What a fight that'd be, Navarro and Lafferty. Oh, let's make it happen. Happens. Here we go, people. Fifth and final round. Final round, round five. And again, he gets through with that little jab, Tyler Goodjohn. But Navarro comes back, comes back looking. Oh, good try. Uppercut there from Navarro. But back comes Tyler with a great body shot. This is one of those fights that leaves you in awe of them. Not just their fighting ability, but you know who they what? are. I don't want it to end. No, no. And neither do they, as crazy as that'll sound to some people. This is truly where they belong, and expressing themselves so honestly out here. And they, again, just a little breather for both of them. It really, it, this fight... Oh, body shot again. That straight yes. left. Digs deep. That's a boxing, that boxing technique there, that straight left. Look at the way. And then gets John, away on yeah, his feet. Yeah, just floats out of there. It was imperative for what him to come What was it Muhammad Ali said? Float like a yes, butterfly, sir. sting like yes, a bee. Yes, sir. It was imperative for him to be in shape for this fight because if he were to... Oh, oh, oh. God, from good jump. He's got him in trouble. Such a pretty... And look at Navarro, man. just comes back. Oh, good body shot from Tyler. Navarro said it was low. It could have been. That does See, look slipping. At the, that's slipping away and ducking and diving and getting out of trouble. This and is how you fight bare knuckle against an aggressive fighter, against a pressure fighter. You move your head and you counter. You move your head, you make him miss hard, and then you punch your way out. Circle, look the way he circled around, and now he's got him. But still drawing him instead of attacking on the ropes. A left hook from both men is in play here. And Tyler there with the body again. He's worked that body ever so well tonight. Incredible, incredible performance from both of these guys. Ten seconds remaining. They just got to give it all. Good John can dance. He's won this fight. And he just keeps out of trouble. Smart. Smart. You've there given everything. The end of the fight. And there, they both hug him. And that's uh, what I love to see about uh, bare knuckle boxing. Unbelievable, but BKB yes, people, hugging each other. They just all about. Like seven you know, and whatever out of each know. other. And they are absolutely loving it. And when you have, when you are people like this, humans like this, you have this desire to ha have this kind of fight. It's a dream come true to find someone who can give it to you. Oh, well, uh, if you've paid for a ticket, that's worth the entrance fee alone. Oh, very much. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Two great fighters, Jimmy Sweeney there. And we'll wait for the, uh, as the referee, we'll wait for the referee just to call them there. And I almost think there's, a, there's possibly a rematch there. Oh, God, wouldn't you like to see five more of that? Well, you heard what he said, Jim. Lafferty and Navarro is one he wants to get on. Yeah. Wow. Hey, 
<laughs> stand clear. Unbelievable. Stand clear. The referee. That was, that was a beautiful, beautiful fight. You know, and we expect from the scores that we got in between that good John will be the winner. But it's also, you look at them. I mean, Navarro, as much as he'll wear every bruise with so much pride, he's going to be in a lot of pain. Let me in the say this. Days. I'll tell you now, and I'm sticking my neck out. Tyler Goodjohn's got a great career in BKB. He really does. He a, does. A great career. This is this is the prototype of what today's bare knuckle fighter is. The game will now evolve remember, quickly. He's a lightweight. Jimmy Sweeney's got the lightweight title, I think, as well. It's one of his titles. Oh. Well, the, the Sean George, we're going to talk to him after yeah. this. We'll fight uh, the winner for the BKB British lightweight. There you go. BKB 16. There you go. Right, you I get in the ring and talk to them. The booth, warriors. And what that is uh, what Come a fight on. that'll be. Sean George, the outlaw from Wales. How tough is he, by the way? We have a and he will fight the winner for the British title. Your winner, Tyler El Tornado Goodjohn. And again, a massive hand to the freaking Regan. Congratulations to both of you gentlemen. That was a wonderful fight. I know a fighter like you your whole life you've been looking for somebody to give you a fight like this. You must have enjoyed every second of that, Mark Navarro. Well, if I'm honest, the foot fights like that before, very, very, very tough fight. Tyler, um, a bit quicker than what I thought. I had the game plan. I was rolling under, I was only trying to keep him in this lead hand, but guys, I was tired as well. I took this fight when I was in South America. Like I say, I was trying to train out in the jungle. Very, very hot. So I felt it was a wee bit, I was getting tired there. You seen it? But it was so wonderful. Guys, no excuses. Shut up and stop, Ben. No excuses. He's a good, good fighter. Well, you both put on a wonderful fight. Now, Mr. Goodjohn, that you, yes, sir. You came in here with exactly the right approach. When you fight somebody who's ferocious and aggressive, slip and counter and rip. I have a bit of respect for ball fighters. No booing, no booing. I have a bit of respect for ball fighters, yeah? Jimmy Sweeney, ladies and gentlemen. You heard And Mr. Now. Sweeney is right. Please respect both gentlemen, no booing. I just want to talk with Mr. Goodjohn here. Slipping and moving and moving your head in interesting lines and catching him. That was the fight you wanted to fight. Yeah, 100%. Um, obviously, I knew going into this fight that Mark was very tough. Uh, come forward and as game as you like. So I had to use my boxing and uh, to be honest, like the one criticism in my boxing career is that sometimes I got uh, caught up in a war too much. When I did box, I looked, uh, I looked a million dollars. But in this boxing, uh, bare knuckle boxing, you can't afford to be taking silly shots. So I've come in here, changed, and, and just you know, I've got to stick to my boxing style and use what's, uh, use what's best, basically. You know. Well, one more, uh, Mr. Navarro. Thank you for a wonderful fight as well, guys. And maybe got beat tonight. This is not the last time you see me. I'll come down here. Every single time, you fight the best men in England. Just do not scare me. The Dundee soldier, I'll still fight anybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. And uh, I want to bring out Sean George. Now, Sean, would you two gentlemen like to fight each other for the BKB British lightweight title March 30th at BKB 16? Let me think about that. Uh, fuck I. <laughs> Now, Sean, what did you think of his performance tonight? He moved well. He's awesome, but awesome boxer. I, know, I got my hands full of him, haven't I? You know, he's a tough old guy, but and he stopped him. Tony Lafferty, tough as fuck. He stopped him. So I know I got my work cut out like. Are you training right now? Are you in shape, ready to go now? Yeah, all there, but. Well, he just had a fight, so we're going to wait till BKB 60. We got nine weeks now, me. So uh, me and Vince will be there, no doubt. You, you excited about fighting Sean George for the British lightweight title? Do you know, like obviously, I've, Sean's been in this game a long time, so he's, he's an experienced guy, do you know what I mean? So, been world champion, so hats off to him. Like, it's going to be a hard fight, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, that's what we're here for. So, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see these two do it at BKB 16, March 30th. And Tyler, congratulations on a wonderful fight. <laughs>